Well, it changes. Which one's it? the brake? <laughs> Where's the brakes? Where's the Indy Clears? <laughs> I'm going to the one with LPG, it's up here. On the end. So it isn't. It oh, is. Oh no. the site just say goodbye to arena we're on our way to the services just at the end of about two miles from here not that mile and a half we're gonna go in, fill up with gas fill up with diesel well, about an hour. once we get going we've got about an hour and a quarter I think it is or around 20 minutes down the A70 towards Maybole and find the entrance near the Colzean Castle Right now, which one's the indicators this time? Left. Which one's the indicators? Well, it changes, Which one's it? the brake? <laughs> Where's the brakes? Where's the indicators? <laughs> Always get a little bit nervous when you first tow in the car for about the first half a mile. Until you get used to <laughs> or it, yeah. say, or a couple of miles. Yeah, that'll be me the whole blooming time. Well, no, it's the first couple of turnings <laughs> because you wait for this, in case this, in my head, I wait for the steering lock to lock on. Oh, no. But it, it won't, obviously. Calculating route. Wow. She's got a serious attitude, this one. <laughs> Didn't you want to go to the one with LPG? I'm going up there. I'm going to the one with LPG. Yeah? I'm going to the one with LPG. It's up here. On the end. So there isn't. It is. Oh, no. Yards, enter the roundabout. Take the fourth exit. I don't believe that. Where's the now? Station, Hello, I wonder if you can help me. Can you tell me, have you got LPG? No, we don't have. You don't have. Do you know where the no. nearest station lighting air would be that might have LPG? No, no. no sorry, I don't have my face. Sorry. All right, thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. So that got off to a bit of a bad start with. Uh, the fact that there's no LPG at the services. So the nearest place we can find, which is in Kilmarnock, so we're doing a, quite a big detour out of our way to go up to Kilmarnock to get gas. And uh, then we're gonna fill up, and the plan's gonna be from then on, we've discussed it. It's a bit of a pain in the backside. So we've discussed it, we're gonna go out and buy ourselves an induction hob and, and try and do away with using gas apart from for emergencies. Especially when we're on sites during winter and stuff. Different in the summer. But uh, it's so difficult. I, I do get understand now why everyone's going to, to just like induction. There's quite a few and not even there. having gas in their vans. Well a lot of the new um Models, they're not including gas, are they? No. Yeah. no. There's quite a few stations uh, are listed as serving LPG, but when you get there, or phone them up, they haven't got any. Well, this is, this situation is where you would be better off having one gas load refillable and one, one yeah, normal yeah, that you gas. could swap a bottle out. Uh, I don't know what's the matter with this country. You know, Europe, I hate to say it, wins again. Go there, get your gas, get everything you want. But never mind. So anyway, so we're off to Gilmarnock. We've just decided we're going to change the name of our van because uh, 
was my silly idea to call it, it Tonto. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a female. Keep saying she all the time. So, and since it's a she, and because of our registration number, welcome to Effie. <laughs> or F for sure. Or F for sure. And that was what I originally wanted to call her anyway, wasn't it? You did, didn't you? See, even I'm saying her. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Tonto has had gender realignment. <laughs> and he's now Effie. <laughs> when she's naughty, she could be that effing fan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Effie now, Effie. <laughs> yeah, I know, but there's so much that has been going on with getting it right in now where we're living. Living needs, the driving needs are kind of taking the second place. So. My trouble is, I don't deal with stress very well. No, you get angry. I get angry. You get anger management issues. I do get anger management <laughs> issues. But I don't deal with it really well at all. Never have done. But it's just silly things in this van that annoy me. But like that sat there. That, that whole media centre is the biggest pile of doo doo I've ever known. Who knows, it's made by? It's made by whoever makes them. Cut the Dutch. For fear, of what I meant to say is it's the original <laughs> fear one, if you like. Right. <laughs> I mean, it sounds nice. It's got a good sound to it, I will admit. But for functionality, it's absolutely useless. Unless I'm doing it wrong. Touch wood at the moment, no flooded roads. No. Still, from the other day. Although the fields are pretty, looking pretty wet. Turns out that that water that was in the bridge where we were on the site in Abington, that's the highest it's ever been in 40 years. Yeah. What, the footbridge, you mean? The footbridge, the, yeah. the water, yeah. And now they've got, to go and re they've got to rebuild the bridge now. That was totally scary the way that water was rushing over there. Yeah. But I know there was quite a significant little, well, it wasn't a stream, it was a river, but you know, it was a, three foot of the deepest areas that you saw. Yeah. It, it kind of meandered. To see it like a rushing torrent like that overnight was actually quite scary. Yeah, it was. The speed that it came into that field. Yes, I know. <laughs> once it busts its banks. Yeah. Hopefully, keep your fingers crossed for us that we can actually find some LPG. Hopefully, if that happens, it's worth its weight. So I should have took more time to learn how all this part of it works instead of just saying, oh, I'll work that out of the room because actually, you no, know, you can't. and his wife and the kids. Very, very nice people. By all accounts, it's a very similar situation where we're going to now looking at the reviews. Very, very similar yeah. indeed. This site we're going to, uh, Thomaston Farm Campsite in uh, Maybolt, is uh, £15 a night. Oh, welcome to East Ayrshire. Yeah, this one's £15 a night, it's on a farm, reviews are good, it's got showers and stuff like that in the farm buildings apparently, so, yeah, look forward to that, yeah, no, our, our biggest issues are, are just silly things at the moment. Yeah, they're, they're not silly, your medication. No, my, my medication that issue is. Going to be a pain, but uh, yeah, that is. But we've, we've since discovered that the way that I thought we were going to get my medication, which was the same way that I got it through a company called Pharmacy to You in um, England, we're not going to be able to do because you've got to have an English GP for that, and we've been a registered as a Scottish GP. But it might be something we have to revisit at some point. 12 miles to Kilmarnock. One thing I will say that has definitely saved us and I'm so glad we listened to you guys 
is that air fryer. We've been using that all the time. Yeah, it's been brilliant. It has been brilliant. Very pleased with that. And we got the got our Thai barbecue as well, which yeah. we'll oh, yeah. be cooking a lot more Yeah, you'll be seeing us using our Thai barbecue in the summer. I think it'll be worth buying a little kettle barbecue as well. Yeah, one of them portable things. Are, yeah. yeah. So we do like to eat outside. Go on in mate, get past me. Slow down, see look, it's telling you, Mr. Camperman. <laughs> it's probably talking to us as well actually. After 200 yards, turn right. I think we found it. That was alright driving with us in the inner inner town if you like. Yeah. Not too bad at all. And let's hope, fingers crossed, this has got LPG. With the epithet, hasn't it? Yeah, it's never known. Right. Right. Let's see if we can see where the LPG is now. Yes. Oh no, don't tell me this is just a thing. Let's just pull over here for a minute. Don't get asked. It says station confirmed. Number 11, which is right there. We have to go out and come back in again. Turns out. Where's he living? Around that. Oh, Shut up, what are you going on about? Why do you keep getting all these beepy noises? Seatbelt. Ah, oh, seatbelt. We need to be on this pump here. We're going to be sticking out some though. Well, we'll have to, won't we? Just have to be careful. That car will probably go in a bit. I go up as far as I can. Yeah. How far out am I sticking in the road? I'm not, am I? Not really. Um. The weather has taken a turn for the worst. Yeah, that's weird about that gas. Two hands to press the. Yeah, it shouldn't be like that, surely. To press the uh, button. <laughs> no, well, it's probably topped to something. If it wouldn't put any more in, it must have been full. Yeah, it wouldn't have been none of it. Either. I know they've got a cut off on them, just to, so you can't go more than 80%. I think we need to go by the back gauge. I would say go and use good old Google, but personally, after the amount of research and things I did last night on different subjects, I think Google's bloody useless. <laughs> so I'm afraid there's not much to show you guys. I think we'll see you nearer the site. Well, we're quite close now. Just going past the monument. And there seems to be something on the reviews about not going down this little lane that the sat nav will try and take you down. So we will see. So we just want to find Colsey and Castle. We need to find, yes, yeah, what you said. You find the entrance to Colsey and Castle and it's virtually opposite. Not so much mountainies around this way, is it, nearer to the coast? No, no, it's not. It's pretty pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. It's 
300 yards, turn right. Castle 400 yards, so the turn is going to be on our right then. I'm guessing over the left. I'm going to pull over and let these people go past us. Because they're really driving me out the wall. After 400 yards, turn left. So there's the castle. Is right, I think our turn is on the left. Oh, it's it nearly it? opposite. There's the entrance to the thing, so I'm guessing it's just down there. Yeah. Alright, it's here. Turn right. Oh, no. Turn left. Turn left. Oh, yeah, that's it. This did so. Yeah, Thomaston. Homegrown potatoes. <laughs> Is it? He'll go out there then. Okay. I said he'll go out there then. So you got a nice little woods here walking. Yeah. Let's give the dog a bit of a walk. Oh, that's a ratty old road. Yeah, it's just trying to take over the steering. Hey? So it's just trying to take over the steering all the time. Mr. Sheepy. This looks like After it. After 200 yards, you have reached your destination. Thank you, Mrs. Oh, I think that car might have been the owner. Yeah? That she's turned around and he's coming back. I wish I You have reached your destination. Yeah, I'm going to stop here. Let's go and see where we got to go. Uh, again, what another nice lady. Like you said. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. When do you want the money? Whenever. Stay as long as you like. <laughs> Within reason, obviously. Oh, I think I'm going to enjoy it, yeah? Let's get in here. So I reckon go on that one. It's a bit sloped, but it is the yeah, widest one for our all. We've got to reverse in anyway, so yeah. otherwise the all going to be in the mud. Yep. We want to get as flat as possible, don't we, to yeah. uh, get the car, get the car off. off. It's about flat. That is, yeah. So guys, we are here, and uh, we'll catch up with you when we've got on the pitch, all sorted. 
Well, good morning. It's, as you can tell, it's the next day, so we got ourselves all set up. And uh, it was uh, when we arrived, it was raining, it was windy and blowing, but it, it, it took us a while to get set up. So by the time we'd done it, it was dark. So we're just off out now, a pair of us. We've Chancer, who's down there, who's already made we're himself at home. We're going, we're going over we're going to those woods there. just up over there. And uh, we're going to end this one here. I'm not sure what's happening today. We've got to get ourselves sorted out and acclimatised and all the rest of it. Find out where everything is because it's quite early in the morning. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Mm -hmm.